Hello guys and welcome to a brand new series of Minecraft modding in Minecraft 1.13 and 1.13.2. Today's episode is going to be the first episode where we're going to be installing the development environment, the new version of Java and the new version of Forge. So let's get started. The first thing we need is the new version of Java. So you're going to want to type in Java JDK into your web browser and download Java SE Development Kit 11. You're then going to want to choose the version. Firstly, I'll accept the license agreement and choose the version here that you want. So for me, it'll be Windows. And I'm going to save that. And that will take a few minutes to download, depending on your internet speed. You're then going to want your development environment. I use Eclipse, but some people prefer IntelliJ. Eclipse, I think, is a bit simpler for people if you're new. So you might want to install that. But also, IntelliJ is also another good development environment. So you're going to go onto the website and click Download 64-bit and then click download and then that will download as well if you've never programmed in before at all you can watch a basic Java tutorial series that I've linked in the description it's really good and should teach you the basics you need for most of these tutorials it might get a little bit little more complicated later on but just so you have a, a broader understanding of what we're actually doing in the tutorials so you can do it yourself as well so the final thing we're going to um, download is the new version of Forge. So just type in Forge and it'll bring you to files.minecraftforge.net and choose 1.13 up here, version 1.13.2. It only came out a few days ago, so there's only a latest version. But if there's a recommended version, I recommend you install that as that will be the one that has the least amount of bugs and will give you the least amount of trouble. But for now, we're going to download the latest version, and we want the MDK, which means Modding Development Kit. So some tools that help you code with Minecraft. So wait for the ad to pass in 5 seconds, and then click the skip button, and then Forge will download. Once all three things have downloaded, you want to go into your downloads. And the first thing we're going to install is the Java JDK here. Click run as administrator. If you're not the administrator of your PC, then you're going to have to ask someone who is to help you install this. So just click yes when the pop-up comes up. And it will prepare to install. It's going to download the development kit as well as the runtime environment. Which are two things you need for programming and then running Java applications. And then it will should install really quickly, click close. Go into your Windows search and type in control panel. This is where you change some settings. You might not have access to this if you're not an administrator. So again, you need, you need to help um, whoever is the administrator of your PC to ask them about things. So once you open your control panel, go into the search icon up here and type environment. And it should come up with system and then click edit the system environment variables. Again, this requires to be administrator. And then down here, click environment variables and it'll bring you to this page. So down here in system variables, you're gonna to need to create, you're going to need to create two new system variables. So click new, you're gonna want underscore Java, underscore options, all in caps and in the variable value you're going to want dash x mx and then a number of megabytes so for me I'm going to put 4096 m and this refers to 4096 megabytes also known as 4 gigabytes of RAM um, and this is how much it will use when running Java applications you can make this larger or smaller depending on how much RAM your system has. Obviously don't put it as the full value or that will break your system. Put it around half of your memory. I've got mine as a quarter because I have 16 gigs. But this will help with the installation process and will make it run smoother. 
So click OK once that variable is declared. And then you're going to want another variable called Java Home. So variable name, all caps, Java underscore home. Choose Browse Directory, go to this PC, C, uh, Program Files, then Java where you just installed it, and choose the JDK that you just installed, 11.0.2, and click OK. And then click OK again. And that's the Java Home variable. And there you go, you'll have the Java Home variable there with the link to where your JDK is. The final thing we need is inside this path um, thing, click, double click on it. And we're going to create a new addition to this um, environment variable. So click New, um, click Browse, this PC, C, um, Program Files, Java, JDK, then Bin, and click OK. And it will add it. And then click OK again. Double click to make sure it's still there. And basically, this is telling your PC where all your Java stuff is, is installed. So when it's running things that require Java, it should know now. So you can click OK, OK, and close out of everything. And that is your Java JDK should be fully installed. Now we can install Eclipse, so double click on it, click Run. So we just want to click on the Eclipse ID for Java developers, and then um, click Install. Click Accept the agreement and it will install on your PC. Click accept again. Click on this tick here and click accept. And then it will finally finish installing. It's an installation completed successfully. You might want to launch it first to make sure it fully boots up. Just choose the default workspace for now. We're going to change that later. But And Eclipse should boot up like this. And everything is working. So that's good. You can close this for now. And the final thing we've got to do is install Forge. So extract the files if you... The Windows does have a built-in in extractor, so that should be fine. And you'll get all these files here. Drag, drag over and copy them all. And then go to wherever you want to store your mod code. So I have mine decode Minecraft and then um, tutorial mod. Paste it into here. And you'll have all these files in here now. You're then going to want to open command prompt, type CMD, and then click run as administrator again. And it will boot up into command prompt. If you've never used this before, just follow along. It's just something that allows you to run commands. If you're storing it on a different drive other than your C drive, you're going to want to change that drive by just typing like D colon, we'll change it to the D drive, etc. And then you're going to want to do CD and then type in the location of um, your folder. So D colon backslash, you can click tab and it'll search through each one. So code backslash Minecraft backslash tutorial mod. And then it should say here the, the full name. And then you're gonna run a command called gradle, G-R-A-D-L-E-W and then Eclipse. And that will install um, something called Gradle W, something called Gradle, which is a um, li lots of libraries that are used for programming. And then it also installs all of the Eclipse files as well. So click enter. You should see if it's, you've done it correctly, it should say picked up Java options and then it will start the daemon, which is the Gradle thing. You know, and to accept, um, give Java access to your internet. And then it's going to go through and download all the files it needs. On your first try through, this will take about 10 minutes or so. 
but I've already installed it before when I was testing, so it should um, take a lot less time for me. It's gone through everything and it should it's now installed as it says build successful. If you have any errors, leave them in the comments and I'll try and help you. Um, but if you follow along with this tutorial, everything should work fine. So now you've got, you should see there's additional files here. And you're going to want to open up Eclipse again. So we have this um, selected directory. Click browse. Go to D. Code. Minecraft. Um, and just select that folder or wherever you've installed it, don't put the actual tutorial mod folder and um, put the folder outside of that. So I've got decode Minecraft here and you can choose to use this as a default if you don't plan on doing anything else and click launch. There won't be any files here yet so click file, open projects from file system, directory and then choose tutorial mod, select folder It'll do some things, click finish. And then it'll mess around with some errors for a bit and then it should be all fine. And there you are, you've fully installed your thing into Minecraft. So in the next tutorial, we'll actually begin setting up the environment ready for, ready for you to start programming. So thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.